Hello, people. This is Corey Kerr, and this is Zillow Talk. And today I'm going to show you how we're going to take this bug, this little fly guy, and use joysticks and sliders to make a walk cycle super easy. So let's jump into it. This is Zillow Talk. All right, so here we are in After Effects, and I um, just wanted to show you really fast in Photoshop what's going on. So in Photoshop, I made each of these a different layer, right? That's basically what's happening there. Um, and so you can see the different parts and all the legs are different, right? And then I imported those into um, After Effects, and then I used joysticks and sliders so that I can make the eye look wherever I want. So wherever this controller goes, controls the eye. And wherever this controller goes, if it goes up, it rotates that uh, head and body up. And it goes down, it rotates the head and body down. If it goes left, the legs move forward and back. And so you can see that if you just move this forward and back, that it does that. But if you move it up and down, it does that. So if you were to move it in kind of a V cycle, like this, then it would uh, it would kind of do both. So you can kind of go like this, maybe add a little thing like that. So let me just show you how I might do that. So I'm gonna come down here and zoom out a bit. And then uh, let's say that I want this to kind of scurry. So I want it to happen maybe three times a second, right? And so I'm just gonna go about there. I'm gonna put the X position all the way over. And I'll add a keyframe here. I'm gonna put that at the beginning. And then I'm gonna add a keyframe all the way over there like that. Okay, so now we go kind of the full motion, okay? So I could copy and paste each one of those, but I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna alt click on this guy and I'm gonna start typing the word wiggle. No, I'm gonna start typing the word loop out. Okay, and you'll see that it kind of pulls up that little uh, menu. You can just hit return here. And then I play that and it's jittering. And I'm like, oh no, I don't want it to jitter. Now, I could do one of two things. I could add another keyframe that's just a copy of this first one copy paste um, and then it'll go back and forth little skitter right okay so that's one thing I can do um, I don't like that as much and so what I'm gonna do is inside of this I'm gonna go type equals quote ping pong no spaces and now what it's going to do is instead of just looping through these two keyframes it's gonna swing back and forth I'm go like this press OK there we go. But I'm going to take these and I'm going to hit F9 to turn them into um, easy ease. So now that that's a little bit like that. All right. Okay, so it's a little bit better. I'm going to move this across. Maybe it'll just have it go like this. Okay, so that's a little slower, right? And it'll just continue to loop like that. That's great. Okay. Now, on the Y position, I could do the same thing, right? That'll kind of go up and down. But what if I want it to be kind of random? I'm going to start this at zero, so it's in the center. And uh, it's 200 up and down. Um, and so if I, go, if I go 200, that's the bottom. Go 200, that's the top, right? And so what I'm going to do is instead of um, adding keyframes and looping those, I want to make it a little bit more random. So I'm going to Alt-click, and this time I'm going to start typing the word wiggle. And the first number you put in is the frequency or how many times per second it cycles. The second number that you put in is the amplitude, or the amount that it cycles from the position that it is. Meaning if we're at zero, and I put 200 in, then it can go anywhere from positive 200 to negative 200, meaning that there's a 400 pixel range that it's going to pick random numbers from. And so I, I want this to happen kind of slowly, and so I'm gonna say, 
half a time a second by saying 0.5 comma, I want you to go somewhere within positive 200 to negative 200. Okay, and now what it's going to do is it will loop through the x value, which is going to give us our walk cycle, while it randomly generates a y value for the position um, based on this wiggle. And doing that, you'll notice that it slowly rotates the body and the head. Just kind of randomly does that. Now, if I want that to speed up, then I can take this 0.5 and I can make it 5. Now it's going to happen five times a second, which is going to be crazy, right? It's going to just kind of like freak out and be really like jittery. Okay, now what's happening, just to reiterate, is the x value is looping through, swinging back and forth or ping-ponging back and forth this loop out of these two variables, and the y value is randomly generating um, a random number generator within 200 pixels in between that. And so it's kind of randomly going. Now, what is happening on the eye right here? Because if I stop, right, if I come here like this and I stop it, I can grab this eye and I can move it wherever I want, okay? But it's kind of doing that on its own. So if we look at what's going on, we go P and we just twirl into this. I've put a wiggle on the eye, right? Um, but because I didn't separate the values of the position, it's wiggling on the X and the Y value. Okay, it's just going like that. And so that's kind of how I animated this guy. Um, anyway, uh, kind of fun to be able to do that. And now I'll be able to take him like this and put him in like a bigger scene. And then I can have him walk across the screen. So I'm going to come over here like this. I'm gonna go new composition, and let's just go like a normal HD situation like that. And then I'm gonna take this guy and drag him down like this. And I'm gonna shrink him down with scale. So let's have him be like that. And we'll grab position, and we'll just kind of put him all the way off and start that as one position. And then let's say that he takes four seconds to walk across the screen. I'm gonna hold shift so that he um, is locked on the X value there. And now, kind of does that. And he's going way too fast for his legs. You notice that he's not, he's traveling too quickly for the amount of, amount of stuff that his legs are doing. So what I need to do is go back to this and I'm going to take hit the home button here. I'm going to take the position value of these guys and let's zoom in. And let's say that we take that to where it happens every three frames. So we'll go forward and back. Yep. Okay. Now we'll go back to our comp. Now his legs move much quicker because we sped those up, right? I can still do the same old tricks here. Um, you know, I can I can come in here, alt click, type in loop out, and he'll just continue to walk across the screen. There we go. And because his eye is random, because it's got a wiggle expression on the position of the controller, um, that's what's going on. Okay, let me show you one more thing. I wanted to show you how I, how I did the eye because the eye is probably the easiest thing to understand. Um, so I'm just gonna go to here. I'm gonna move it to, let's, can I not grab this thing yet? That's not working. Okay, well, uh, let's do it this way. Okay, we're gonna go like this and unbind the fly eye controller. There we go. Okay, so hide this for a minute. Do, do, do. Hide, hide. All right, so what we have is we have, um, you have five different positions for joysticks and sliders. 
okay? And anything that can be keyframed can be put into a joystick here, right? And so the first position is kind of your home base position. And so you'll notice that on the pupil, which is this one, okay? Um, when it's in the middle, the scale is 100, 100, and the position's in the middle of the, the eye, right? The next one is right, the one after that is left, the one after that is up, and the one after that is down, okay? So what I did is, I'm just gonna hide the highlight right now. So I'm just gonna show you the main pupil. Okay, so to the right, I moved it to the right, and I changed um, this to 80%. So it kind of like gets a little bit thinner, as if it was moving around a sphere. Okay, and then on the left, I had it at 80%. I'm actually gonna say, I want this to be a little bit smaller, and I want it to be a little bit further to the left. Okay, and then up, let's make this a little bit thinner and a little bit higher, okay? And then down is fine. We'll, we'll go a little bit thinner, Shoop. and a little bit lower, but that's all right. Okay, so now that we have those, right, I'm gonna turn my my highlight back on, and you'll notice the highlight, it doesn't move as much. I'm just trying to show a little bit of movement. Okay, and so what I do is I highlight all of these layers, and if this were the first time that I was creating this, then I would press this button, this new joystick button. But if I'm just rebinding something, I choose the controller that I want, and I rebind those controls, and let's go back out here. And now, wherever I move this, it'll do that, it'll do that thing, okay? So that's kind of what's going on. I have to be a little bit careful. If I go too far in the upper left-hand corner, um, what it's doing is when it goes up and down, then it's scaling the Y value, and when it's going left and right, it's scaling the X value, and so when it goes upper left, it's scaling both the Y and the X value. And so at times it can kind of cause uh, kind of some problems. So anyway, um, let's see if this still works. Let's see if we still like what we did here. It's great. And so I put a wiggle on that controller and it kind of just does its thing, right? It just kind of goes wherever it wants. So fun times. Anyway, that's uh, joysticks and sliders on a weird little fly guy. And uh, I'm using the one on the left to control the body because I really only needed those legs to go back and forth and kind of skitter. I didn't need them to move up and down. And so I used the up and down value to kind of rotate the head and the body. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you want to catch my stuff, then you can always go to coreykerr.com, check out all that jazz. Um, lots of fun things there. Make sure that you like, subscribe, uh, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, and uh, we'll catch you later. This is your time.